I'm Sean Kerr, and this is SRK Cycles. What's up, guys? Sean here from SRK Cycles, and I am here with a, I have no idea what year this is. Some type of year, precision, it's not a chopper, it's more of a bobber. You know it's a bobber, because it's got it's a bobbed out, that's all exposed. I know very little about this bike, but what I do know, I'm gonna tell you, it's gonna be a lot of fun. First of all, this has some type of giant SNS super stock engine. Don't actually know how big it is, maybe a 120 or something like that. Check this out. No joke, you need three people in both hands to pull the clutch. That's a strong clutch, that'll make a man out of you. Come over here. The reason that clutch is so strong, it has a uh, dry racing clutch sitting inside there. What's the reason for that? Apparently because it was the cheapest one that was available at the moment. Here's your gauges. There's no safer place to put all your gauges and all your vitals than completely straight down near your thigh. Those are gauges right there. It touches miles per hour. Maybe it touches some other stuff. I've never actually looked at it. This is an awesome mirror and it gives you the, like a great view of your armpit. It does fire up, it does run. Check this out. Here's the starter. Now any clown can just press a starter with your finger, with your thumb. This starter is actually a doorknob. This is literally and figuratively the door to freedom and to you having a good time. It's also the doorknob to disappointment and you walking home occasionally. That's just kind of the bike it is, and that's just that's that's kind of the fun. That's like, it's kind of the best part of the bike to turn the light off when you're cranking it up. This beast is sitting on a 250 back tire. It is giant. It needs that much rubber on the ground because this thing makes this thing does make a lot of power. No one knows how much actually. Pull the springs back up. We're rocking a lithium ion 380 cold cranking amps. So this thing is a rigid. You notice there's no actual. There's no suspension. What saves you is these little springs right here. And honestly, and I'm almost bottoming them out. I think you might just put a little like little shock or a little strut up in there, kind of cushion that a little bit more. And classically, you look over here, it's got the awesome 4S. That stands for for sale. Whether it's always for sale or not, I don't know. It also is rocking the Springer front end. Let's fire this thing up and let's take it for a spin. All right, so let's take this monster for a spin. It's been a long time since I've driven a rigid I feel like even for me, 175 pounds, I need some stiffer springs back there. Oh, it's got a little speedometer down there. That's, that's where you want to be looking, completely down at your thigh, when you want to figure out how fast you're going. I don't know why uh, new motorcycle companies don't, don't pick, on, uh, pick up on these subtle Awesome touches. <laughs> Running like a champ. We'll take this thing on our normal chest drive route. And man, you need a you need to make sure you got a good grip when you're grabbing that clutch because this clutch is heavy. This is a um, this is an SNS motor with a dry clutch on it. And he put a dry racing clutch. I think when I said, why did you do that? He's like, well, it was probably just cheaper. So the guy who was gonna buy this bike, really, really nice guy, super cool. Watches the channel, him and his wife came up. He was actually gonna ride the thing back, but we couldn't get it running. We got it to run, but I couldn't get it to start. And the problem was because the battery, it needs a lot of, it needs a good battery. And I guess our jump box was kind of weak at the time. So we took it back to the guy who built it, Josh, our mechanic, and he um, he got it running and he bled the he bled the rear brakes and just did a couple little things and he feels a lot better about the guy trying to ride it back now. But we're gonna deliver it to him anyway up in New York. So I'm super pumped. We're gonna throw a brand new battery in it. 
and honestly the, this bike just needs to be rode I'll admit it's not the uh, it's not the easiest bike out there to ride it'll make a man out of you just grabbing that clutch will definitely make a man out of you but I've definitely ridden harder bikes I've ridden bikes that were significantly more uncomfortable than this when he um, this is a precision built bike it's really cool to watch the suspension kind of do its thing he actually said that he was inspired by a uh, by a sucker punch Sally Bobber if you've ever heard of sucker punch Sally that was a company back in the day of course right I mean of course of course you would name your motorcycle company sucker punch Sally but what else would you name it it does look mean it is a mean 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 looking bike idles nice and good you got steel braided lines on this thing that mirror gives you a really good view of your armpit so if you ever wonder and you're like what's my armpit look like while I'm riding my bike BAM you got you got to go like this up oh, there's behind me <laughs> oh yeah this is the bike that you let your friends ride when they're like, yo, let me ride your bike. You're like, yeah, you're brand new. Do you know how to ride? I'll figure it out. You throw them the keys and they can't even figure out how to start it. And then you hop on there, do your little magic and brah, and then everyone else is like, dude, that guy is so cool. So honestly, I have a love-hate relationship with bikes like this. <clears throat> on one side, it's like, why can't, why can't it just be easy? But on the other side, <coughs> what kind of separates you from everyone else is the fact that you're driving a ridiculous bike that yeah okay the last the three out of five times you rode it away you left home you were walking back but those two out of five times that you ride this thing home or this thing starts you're a hero you know what I mean it's like yeah any clown can jump on a brand new bike and ride it home wow you rode a but you rode your normal bike home of course it runs it's brand new <clears throat> but something like this is more like every day you make it home riding this bike you've just accomplished something that 99 percent of people can't do and that's what kind of builds this that's why people who ride bikes like this they freaking love them they're like no that's my, that's my baby that's my baby you know what I mean she talks to me I know when she's mad and and I get it you fall in love anyone who owns a bike like this is gonna do work on it it just happens <coughs> and the more work you do the more you love it and the more you the more you learn about the bike and but it really it, it, it really brings you back to like the rawness of riding motorcycles you know what I mean if what people were doing when they were riding motorcycles you know a hundred years ago where it's like it's not just I hop on a bike and I ride it's not my form of transportation it's this is my way of life I choose not to show up at certain places because my bike doesn't my bike didn't make it that's how it is it just so happens that all those places I uh, my bike's not making it is court and PTA meetings and all the things that are dumb but if it's something awesome oh she'll make it she'll make it I do love the style of this bike I think it's it really is sweet looking and those red those red rims just really really sets it off it sets it apart from the other stuff that you're normally uh, used to seeing. The bike handles great in the sense that it doesn't, but it will make it around a turn in a pinch if you have to. There's a set of pipes out there that are called neighbor haters. These pipes should be called wake the dead. Just obnoxiously loud. Although I will say that the deep tone is somewhat soothing and the only motorcycle gloves 
that I would wear with this bike are my M1 Moto Kevlar lined 508s. You know it. I said it. Baddest gloves out there. I'm impressed. This bike runs good. We just got to put throw a new battery in it. I have to learn how to start it myself. Like a grown up. Nope. 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 You stay back. There we go. You gotta admit though, a bike like this, it's gonna get you three things. It's gonna get you tickets. It's gonna get you women. What's the other thing it's gonna get you? I don't know. That's for you to figure out. Throw that down in the comments of the third thing it's gonna get you. And don't say STDs. Although that'd be hilarious. Let me do the walk around post ride. And there she is. A precision motorcycle chopper. This bike is a beast. Crazy dangerous. The fact that I didn't die on that ride makes me like the bike a lot more. This bike is sold and we will be delivering this bike to New York probably next week. All right, guys, that wraps it up. We'll see you guys later.